Hey everyone, so you have decided to tackle CKA which is Certified Kubernetes Administrator exam. Nice. Now let's talk real. This exam is tough. Unlike those typical multi-choice tests, this one is all about getting hands-on with Kubernetes. So buckle up and get ready for a wild ride. But here is the thing. Prepping for CKA exam can feel like wandering in the dark sometimes. There is tons of study material out there but finding the good stuff that actually helps you ace those hands-on scenario is not so easy. Well, fear not. That's where our playlist comes in. I recently passed this exam just last week and I thought, hey, I could help many of you do the same. So I'm coming up with a question and answer series with a mix of simple and not so simple questions. Trust me, these are definitely going to help you to nail CK exam and hey, I would love to hear your feedback along the way. So if you are ready to deep dive into the world of Kubernetes and crush CK exam, you are in the right place. Let's do this thing together. Let's conquer Kubernetes one question at a time. Question one, create a pod named foo with image ng annex and make sure it uses label environment is equal to production. So I just will see whether there is any pod created. There is no pod. And this is the alias I'm using for kubectl k. It makes it easy. Like you set that alias and practice with it, right? It, you will find it's easier. And that is how you can do it in exam. So you saved some time to create, like write kubectl every time. And it is there in exam already. So you do not need to worry about uh, setting it up. Okay, so let's go to this question again. So I'm creating a pod k run foo image is equal to ng inx l which is label environment is equal to production okay just create this pod and every time you complete your question make sure you validate that it's very important because like if you do any spelling mistake or any mistakes on uh, your question you may lose marks for that so validate every time for sure so I'm just making sure the pod is running. Then what I'll do is I'll just check image I'm using for this pod. It's better to use hyphen i, so it's case insensitive. Okay, so image nginx. So just make sure that okay, it's nginx. And then you can even check what are the labels associated with this pod. Pod foo show labels and you can see environment is equal to production so you check your image you check your label you check the name of the pod which is foo and that's it so this question is good question two create a pod name foo bar in the hr namespace with the ng annex image ensure that all necessary objects are created if they do not already exist let's see this so first let's check whether hr namespace already exists and you can see there is no namespace with hr and ns is a short form for namespace and i suggest like wherever is possible right start using short form during your practice as well so that same you can do in uh, exam and save some time okay so ns is a short form for namespace and one uh, trick is you can do kubectl api resources and here you can find out all the uh, API for all the resources. If you see namespace, NS is a short short name for it. Okay, so let's get directly into the question. So as we, uh, we saw, there is no namespace with name HR and uh, question says, ensure that all necessary objects are created if they do not already exist. So you can create object namespace HR. Okay, just validate is there. Now HR namespace is there. So you should create pod k or kubectl run foo bar image ng inx namespace namespace short form you can do dash n or even if you write namespace that is okay too. Okay, so namespace is hr. So pod is created. Let's see if pod exists and this pod foo bar does not exist because we created that 
pod in HR namespace, it doesn't exist in default. So whenever you are doing get uh, get pods, it is by default taking it for default namespace. Okay, so we should mention namespace. So HR namespace get pod. Now you should see that foobar is running. So iPhone N again, as I said, like this is uh, to specify namespace in your commands. Couple of uh, validations you should do. One is pod foobar. I'm just describing it so we can confirm it's nginx and it is in HR namespace. That's that we already saw when we did get pods in default namespace it was not there and when we do hyphen n hr you can see that pod created so that's it this question is good for us thanks for watching question three find out how many nodes are currently in the ready state write the count to the file and file name is given so let's check how many nodes exist so there is only one node and uh, only one is ready so let's first check how many are ready so you can see right the k get nodes and you can grab ready and however you want to count this you can do it like you can just simply do wc minus l and you can get the count or the other way is you can just count the correct read character right so either way you can do it and then make sure you put the output in the given file nodes dot out then cat of nodes dot out and you can see count is captured so that's it for this question make sure you use the right file name try to copy it from the question itself okay so that's it for this question thanks for watching question four create a deployment named my deployment with two replicas using the image nginx latest okay let's create deployment k create deployment you can even write deploy is a short form my deployment image nginx latest replicas 2 okay so deployment is created and check uh, just verify it like you can see that my deployment is created with two uh, replicas and both replicas are available you can even check pods and you should see that two pods are available and just make sure that whatever uh, image we have used that is correct create minus i image jnx latex and we already saw two replicas okay that's it for my question Thanks for watching. Question 5. Scale a deployment named my deployment to three replicas. Scale it back to one replica at the end of deployment or end of question. Deployment should have one replica. Okay, so let's see whether first of all deployment is available or not. Deployment. My deployment. Yeah, we have deployment with two replicas and questions ask us to scale it to three. The easiest way to scale it is using scale command k cube ctl scale deployment my deployment replicas 3 okay so deployment is scaled so let make sure that is the case k deployment my deployment and you can see three replicas now and all three are running so you can just go into uh, like uh, check the pods as well uh, kubectl get pods you can see the deployment has three uh, three pods now and all are running and the question also asks us to scale it back to one it was two before we made it three now questions ask us to make it one this should be fairly simple same command just make it one okay so deployment is scaled to one so let's see how many pods are there you can see only one pod exists so all other uh, two pods are uh, deleted only one pod exists and and that is question says at the end deployment should have one replica that's it for this question and thanks for watching
ओके सी यू अगेन विद एट अनादर एक्साइटिंग ट्यूटोरियल कीप लर्निंग कीप शेयरिंग वॉट यू लर्न एंड थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग